Be a part of history and subscribe to my two YouTube channels and join the 100,000 pharaohs that exist. And of course, follow me on Twitch as I create a radio station from the ground up. They ain't never seen a young black reporter coming like this. All right, Mr. Telefero TV, let me catch you guys up. A couple days ago, Lil Duval posted this post saying, if a woman doesn't show her body on Instagram for longer than a month, I assume she's healing. He said, Nicki Minaj somewhere healing, ain't it? We ain't seen her ass in months, all right? What, it was, what Lil Duval was speaking to was the fact that Nicki Minaj, I guess apparently hasn't posted a picture on her Instagram account in, in, in since Christmas Day, right? And it was his little selfie joint. So a lot of people are starting to speculate, is she gonna drop an album? Is it, you know, what's going on? Right, Lil Duval believes it's because she had some plastic surgery, surgery she didn't want under the knife, and it's taking a couple months for her body to heal. I thought that was pretty extreme. I just think that people don't go hard on rappers, male rappers, like they do women. Um, I don't think Lil Duval, if you didn't see Jay Z or Nas on social media for a couple months, would say the same thing. But it is what it is, man. This is what happens to women in this industry. Um, Again, when you sell sex, like a lot of women rappers are doing right now, a la Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, this is what happens, man. People judge you under that microscope. And then Wendy Williams on her show, she um she talked about pretty much, I, I don't watch Wendy Williams, but I heard she talked about some sort of taking shots at Nicki. Her and Nicki don't really like each other. But she was like, she got a eight, pretty much said, we're looking for Nicki Minaj, where is she at right now? All right, so it's been brought to the forefront that Nikki, who is someone who always posts on her social media account, has went MIA, all right? Now, I want to let you guys know this, and I want to be clear about this. I have a source close to Cash Money. They're not in Cash Money right now, but they work with artists such as Lil Wayne and other artists, and they tell me, that they, they've been somebody that helped me with some of the stories that I've talked about in the last calendar year and some change about Lil Wayne and his situation with Birdman and Birdman situations and Drake's, they, they've helped me with these stories and they've been pretty on the money. Y'all trust the Pharaoh, right? Trust me, they, they, they've been pretty on the money. Here's what that person told me. That person told me that there is a tour in place for Nicki Minaj this summer. What does that mean? So regardless of what Nicki is doing right now, her album was supposed to come out in March. It was supposed to come out in March. I'm just telling y'all what the person told me. The album was supposed to be here by now, or it should have been. We, we should be getting close to the rollout, but it doesn't look like we are. Now, I I, I have been told that Nikki's going to do the one week rollout. There's not going to be a long, well thought out rollout. But I just would have thought with like All Star Weekend coming up, with the Super Bowl just passing by, I would have thought with all these opportunities for big press moments. Nikki would have came with something by now, or at least an announcement or something, right? I've been, but I, I like I said, the rollout is going to be quick. It might be like she come out and say something on a Monday, and the and the album comes out the next Friday. There is a summer tour. You just don't create a summer tour overnight. There's a summer tour plan for Nicki Minaj. So I said that to say this: wherever she's at, a lot of people thought it was just her, you know, getting the last touches on the album done. And her team says that's what it is. She's finishing up her album, 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 album. People are like, yo, it can't be the album because you ain't dropped the album in March. You ain't, it don't look like you're gonna drop the album in March. I don't know for certain what the plan is, but there is a summer tour in place. I can't tell you that. That is a, Nikki has a tour planned this summer and she's pretty much gotten everything together except the album, right? So you got people like Lil Duval cracking jokes about a body. Yeah, Wendy Williams cracking jokes about her being in my A. Everybody's cracking on Nikki, and it centers around the fact that people are like, "Yo, where are you at? You you do this for a living. You're you and Kim Kardashian are the queens of seeking attention on social media, right? What happened? You just went away for a couple months, and, and I don't really look that far into it. It's just not my thing. But for Nikki to leave like that, one would one would have assumed. She's putting the finishing touches on her album, but it's like, yo, you, this album, you've been cooking this album up for like, what, four years now? How many finishing, what more motivation do you need, uh, Queen Nikki? Just think it's interesting. Lil Duval sparked the conversation that led to Wendy Williams, and now there, she's the talk of the town, and I think her team has released like some, some new pictures from a photo shoot, and we don't want to see that shit. Get out of here. Fuck all that. That shoe could be old as hell. I ain't saying she got some plastic surgery done. 
All I'm saying is she left it up for interpretation, right? Because there's no album and it's about to be March and it doesn't seem like there's a rollout in place right now, but there is a tour in place and Nikki cannot tour right now without a, a new body of work, something. She cannot tour off features and just resume and, and, and uh, repertoire of music, right? Because Nikki's doing arenas. So you are not going to sell out an arena and get those fans to come out. You get the core fans to come out, but you're going to need a lot more to do arenas, uh, at least a new project of some sorts to sell them out. Mr. Telefell TV, y'all think Nikki didn't win on the knife? Talk to me in the comment box below. Subscribe to my channel for more because of content like this. And I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yo!